The Deputy Speaker of Anambra State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Chuku Mokoye, says the State Assembly would do everything in its power to support the state government in its efforts to boost the human capital development of the state. Right Honorable Koye was speaking during the passing out parade of members of the staff of Operation Clean and Healthy Anambra or Char Brigade after their one-week training at the NYSC Permanent Orientation Camp. Mbauhu and Mawolo in Orca South local government area of the state. We have details. By charging the personnel of Ocha Brigade to justify the confidence reposed in them by delivering on their mandates, Right Honorable Koye added that it is imperative to design and pursue capacity building programs that will enhance the skills and competencies required to drive the government's agenda and vision. We are here to serve in the Anambra, to make Anambra livable and prosperous and for all of us. The objective is to ensure that we have a clean and healthy environment, to make sure Anambra's head is great. Also speaking, the Commissioner for Environment, Dr. Felix Odimegu, installed the command for their partnership with the ministry and asked the staff of the agency to see the training as a turning point in the collective pursuit of a clean, green, planned, and sustainable Anambra and charge them on continuous learning and improvement in order to set a shining example for others to follow in shaping the future of the environment. This is knowledge and skills that you've acquired. And remember, your daily actions, however small, contribute significantly to a very cleaner a much more healthier Anambra state. The managing director of Wacha Brigade, Comrade Celestine Anere, who said that the training was first in the history of the command, explained that it is aimed at equipping the officers with the requisite skills to ensure that they enforce law and order in the state. Because any Wacha Brigade member wearing uniform and is collecting bribes to compromise the job of Wacha Brigade, at that point he's collecting, it becomes a town. And we're going to treat them like towns. We will catch them, we will expel them from the brigade and treat them like towns. We, we are going to try as much as we can. But we're also saying that Indian members should learn how to keep their surroundings clean. And then the government will do what they are supposed to do. Earlier in an address of welcome, the deputy managing director of Wacha Brigade, Mr. Anthony Abwefne, thanked Governor Soludo for his continuous support to the command and reaffirmed their commitment to help in eradicating courtism, touting political thuggery, illicit drug trafficking, among other social vices in the state. The one week training came to an end with the inspection of guard of honor mounted by the officers of the agency by the deputy speaker, Right Honorable Koye, the managing director of Anambra Broadcasting Service, Sachido Obidegu, why parades and head count form the high points of the event. The operatives of the agency immediately after the training stormed an illegal sand mining site at Nibo Maulo Road, where they dislodged the workers who took on their heels immediately after citing the men of the brigade from Omaulo Mbauhu in Oka South local government area. Chibuzo Bidiki, ABS News.